Yishem Adonai Mevaruch Matod Olam Shalom everyone. Bezat Hashem, we're going to continue today with Berkat Hamazon. We have uh, more uh, laws to follow. We end up last time after uh, praising the mitzvah of Sem Bikat Hamazon out loud with a simcha, with a joy from a bencher, from a sidu, from a uh, reading uh, uh, note or something. Okay. So you'll be focused, you have kavana. And we saw all the great things that can come out to you and the blessing that uh, you can gain from uh, reading the Birkat Amazon that way. Now we're going to answer some questions if you can do Birkat Amazon standing or walking or in the car, in the bus, in the plane, and so forth and so on. There's another shame. We're going to dedicate this to our class. Uh, or to whoever you mention his name now. And I uh, want to wish all the participants, and uh, especially the Medina's family, for opening the house to host this uh, Torah class. Is that uh, you have the zechut, the merit Amen. to have a house of Amen. Torah for many, many more years? Amen. 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 So. One must be seated while re, uh, reciting with Katamazon, whether one ate while walking about, standing in one place, or lying down. One must sit upright to recite with Katamazon so that one can concentrate on it properly. So even if you're already on the floor or on a mattress and you're leaning back like this, or you do Haseva like on Passover, mm -hmm. with Katamazon, you sit tight. You sit straight, and even on Pesach, you do Birkat Amazon while sitting straight. Okay, remember, Birkat Amazon is from the Torah. Um, this so, rule, sorry. The reason why we have to sit up. Yes, it's more, it's, more, it's more appropriate to say Birkat Amazon while you're sitting, and that's going to be discussed in the next halacha. Okay. The, uh, this rule applies even while reciting the fourth blessing that was added later on. Although it is only an institution of our sages, one must remain seated while reciting it and avoid treating this blessing with less respect. In fact, one should remain seated while reciting the passage of Harahaman. We say Arachamam, so and so. It's a blessing. Whoever hears that should re, uh, reply Same with Amen. Berkat right? um, Amazon has four blessings. The first one uh, was uh, authored by Moshe Rabbeinu, the second Yeshua, the third is, is King David and King Solomon together, and the fourth one, Atova Metiv, was uh, formed following the, the, the destructions of uh, Beitar, and many dies in Beitar, and for many months, what the Romans did to them, they put the bodies like a fence, bodies on bodies, and they didn't stink. It was a miracle, no worms, nothing. Till weeks later, months later, they came, well, the Jews came to, to, they were able to bring them to burial. So you could see for months something amazing that uh, bodies are not consumed. It's, they're not get uh, rotten, okay. not decayed, right? So it's called Hamatov Amitiv. That's the last bracha, um, the fourth bracha. So he was uh, formed by our sages years later. Um, and Ken, in fact, one should remain seated while reciting the passage of uh, Rahaman and rise from one's place only after reciting the final verse of Ose Shalom Bimromav Uyase Shalom Aleinu Ve'al Kol Yisrael Ve'imru Imromen Okay, that's uh, everybody familiar with that. In a situation where it becomes necessary, one may leave one's place while reciting the passage of Ha-Rahaman. It depends uh, very... Uh, Special cases. Okay. So why I can't lean on my left side like I do on Passover and say, what's wrong with that? What's the difference with this position to this position? 
one must not slouch in one's seat while reciting Birkat Amazon. Such behavior displays haughtiness in God's presence. Instead, one must sit upright, displaying one's fear of God. Same like when you go, no comparison to the court. And before a judge, you won't sit like that. What's up, judge? <laughs> Let me talk, sir. No, you are very careful what you're about to say. You think, you prepare, you make sure you have a tie, you have nice clothing. You know what I mean, right? Yeah. Just as one may not move from one's place while reciting the Amidah, we do in, in, in the prayers, in the shul. The same rule applies while reciting Berkat Hamazon. What's Amida in Hebrew, by the way? Standing. When we refer to Amida, it means the standing one, the one we do quietly and standing. Amida. These rules apply not only to the leader of the Zimun, the one that do it maybe over a cup, or the one that lead the Zimun, but to all those who participate in the meal, even if they are not reciting Berkat Hamazon themselves but are fulfilling their obligation by listening to the leader recited. Remember we talked about that. We talked about that some families, right? One. So it, you, you, meaning that the rest of the participants are not exempt from it's called behaving in, uh, properly in Birkat Amazon because he's now doing Birkat Amazon on their behalf. So they have to follow all the rules like the, their representative. Like an Amida? Like an Amida, exactly. Nevertheless, if someone recited the Kadamazon while walking around, he has fulfilled the mitzvah even though he acted improperly. So it happens sometimes when people have field trip or it was necessary or he didn't know, he doesn't have to say the Kadamazon all over again. You should remember never do the Kadamazon while walking or while standing. Okay? So far, so good? Yes. I get this question many times. I used to have this question many times when we had the, in school, we had the field trip. Sometimes people uh, walking and eating. You're on the mountain and not everybody was able to finish the sandwich and they eating the sandwich while everybody else is working or there is no place really to see it. It's only rocks around. It's not comfortable, you know. If they can do Birkat Amazon um, while uh, walking. If someone ate a meal while walking down the road, he is permitted to recite Birkat Amazon while he, is, he continues walking. This is because if the halacha would force him to stop and sit down to recite it, he will not be able to concentrate properly especially when people walk together and he doesn't want to stay alone. So you look, it says that the, the, the whole group of people are going to walk in and stay by myself in the forest in the place that maybe it's getting dark now, I don't know. Either not going to say because Amazon properly or not at all. In such extreme situation, you tell them, just walk with everyone and say it while you're walking. He will be um, disturbed by uh, the... Though by the thoughts of the time he is losing while sitting down instead of continuing on his way, even if he's by himself, by the way, since forcing him to sit down will counter counterproductive. Our sages allowed him to recite it while walking. I have no clue what counterproductive means. It's not worth it. Yeah. Okay, it's not productive. Yeah. So it said not productive. <laughs> well, that's a word. It's a word. Counterproductive. Okay. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning every day. I'm learning. Believe me, every it's day. It's the opposite of what you want to do. Like when you okay. say counterclockwise. Okay. If you would say it, it would be the opposite. Right. Uh, what's the limit on between when you finish eating bread or you finish your meal? What's the time limit? Is there a time limit? Yes, there is. It's not our topic, but I'll answer Ms. Hashem a question. It depends if you eat most of your meal, bread or not, or just a little piece. If, let's say, it's a sandwich, it's a big sandwich, so the mass majority of your meal, if your meal was bread, 
Therefore, it can last for a few hours till you feel hungry again. It could be two hours, three hours. If it's just a regular meal and you did a mozi and most of the meal was, let's say, rice and chicken and potatoes and drinks and other stuff. So it usually is one or 12 minutes, 72 minutes. Just 72 minutes, you must, after finishing, you must do it katamazon, okay? It's not, doesn't mean that you have to finish your meal in 72 minutes when you finish. This applies only if someone who, eat, who ate his meal while walking down the road, if he had stopped and sat down to eat, he must receive a Ramazan while seated as well. Because he showed that he has no problem with sitting. So the Ramazan does sitting as well. Um, what about car, driving in a car? People who have eaten a meal while seated in a vehicle traveling down the road may likewise recite the Ramazan while they continue on their way, meaning they're sitting, the car is driving, and it's, you're not stopping, right? The driver, however, may not recite it while driving. He must park his vehicle or exchange places with, with the passenger and then recite the Ramazan with proper concentration. Just involved because he is going to have less concentration. He's driving. It's, it's, it's a different story for the driver. Remember, this is Birkat Amazon. What about Bracha Me'en Shalosh? The Bracha, the short version of Birkat Amazon that we do over cakes right. or certain fruits mm -hmm. or, or wine. Do I have to see it as well? So just as the halacha demands that one recite the Kadamazon while seated, one must also be seated while reciting the blessing of Me'en Shalosh. Amen. Just a comment. It is commendable to recite all blessings for food or beverages while seated. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this is a common mistake that people do when they do with Kat Amazon. You should all pay attention to it. What is it? I will start with tell you how it should look like, and you understand the halacha easily. Remember we said Amida in Birkat Amazon? It feel, uh, it feel like Amida in, in, when we initial, yeah. when we pray? When we do the Tefilat Amida, can we signal to someone during the... Can we take a piece of paper and do that? Uh, can we talk? So no talking, no signaling, no moving straight with concentration during the prayer. But the Katamazon should be at least like that. And the Katamazon is from the Torah, it's more significant, and Amida is a rabbinical law. It's also important, but it's not as... Um, okay. So it is um, forbidden to perform any activity, however minor, uh, while reciting the Katamazon, it is forbidden to dry one's hand or to put on a garment or any simple task. Nor may one clear the table while reciting it. It is certainly forbidden to engage in a task that requires one's attention. He's javening, in the meantime, he's killing his surrounding. <laughs> this is not appropriate. What if he was already doing something like that? Do we have to duplicate the Amazon over again? If someone did receive the Amazon while engaged in another activity, he nevertheless has fulfilled his obligation. He is no worse than someone who recited it while drunk. You know that drunk, when someone is drunk, I mean drunk, that cannot, cannot stand before a judge or before a king. That, that's the meaning of drunk. Not light, that his head is lightly, I don't know, uh, yeah. it is light. Intoxicated. It's really. So in such a case, if someone is drunk and can stand straight, he is exempt from any prayers. Shacharir bin Kharit, till he gets sober. So far, so good? Yeah. But in Katamazon, it's not the case. In Katamazon, you must do in Katamazon even if you're drunk, unless you fell asleep. Why? Because in Katamazon is from the Torah. See? So we we cannot be lenient in such a case. So one asked me the other day, 
I'm saying the Kata Mazon by heart. But while I'm doing that, I would like to uh, read something or read the comments on the benchers. Some comments, mm -hmm. commentary. You had on some benchers at the bottom of the bencher. So I would like to read the commentary while I do that. I can concentrate. It's no problem. And then you can do that. Can I do that? No, it's, it's, it's a little bit tricky questions. I'll tell you why. Yeah. Because during tefillah and some sidurim, they have words that help you with the kavana. If you don't read this commentary, you won't understand what you're saying. Sure. So it depends if this is a translation of a word or a commentary for the, the idea behind the words, open your arms, your hands, potech et yadecha. It's a two different stories. Yeah. This is a commentary. This right. is a translation to help you yeah. understand the meaning of the blessing, the words. Right. So while reciting Mirkat Amazon, it is uh, forbidden to pursue any written material. Even it has Torah content. If someone reads anything at that time, he demonstrates that he considers the act of reciting Mirkat Amazon to be incidental and unimportant. This applies not only to Brikat Amazon, but also while reciting the Amida or any other blessing. Someone who transgresses this rule is described by the Torah as following the way of Keri, treating the mitzvot as a secondary and incidental. Can we have just a little bit on the... Order? No, just to turn me... Um, Questions? Yes, I have. If, uh, if we finish, like in Amida, if, you, if oh, somebody you finishes, you. okay, praying, but there's still people praying, they're waiting for the Hazan, can we study something? Yeah, now? some post oh, okay. it's even better. Because I have that custom. So. Some are even better. Instead of talking with someone near you, right. focus on the meaning. With the Sidur, now we, uh, we have the Kol Simcha. There's a lot of good commentary that you can read and take advantage. Okay. Take advantage and read the commentary, the translation, and believe me, there's some insights there that you can share on Shabbat table that many people, oh, religious even people, for many years, never heard before. Yeah. Okay? So, yes, you can do that. Okay. Uh, I think we can do one more. Okay, this one is a long one. What if it happens in shows, it happens in yeshivot, it happens in places that you hear blessings or kadish or kedusha or prayers while you do Birkat Amazon. You do Birkat Amazon here and there's a prayer over there and you do Birkat Amazon, but on the other hand, there's a kadish or kedusha that you have to reply with Amen. You know, when you hear you must reply with Amen. Okay? But I'm in the middle of something else. I'm in the middle of Bikat Amazon. Can I stop and reply with Amen to someone else saying blessing? What if I hear someone saying a blessing over fruits? You already finished Bikat Amazon. He's already in the kitchen and he decided to eat a banana. I'm in the middle of my blessing and I hear him saying, Everybody reply, Amen. Everyone there. But I heard that. What, what, what should I do? I'm in the middle of Bikat Amazon. You can do you understand amen. the case? You can say Amen, but in Shema. Isai, you understand the case? Good. <laughs> <laughs> He's listening. What do you think, Ken? In, in, Shema, in Shema, you can say Amen. But I think. Uh, no, no, in Shema, you cannot say Amen. You cannot stop in the middle of Shema Israel. If you're talking Shema Yisrael that in the middle of the prayer, you can't. I mean, if you, if you said that the Bikat HaMazon must be at the same, or at least the same respect as the Amida, you should not reply Amen to anything. That's my opinion. Okay, so taking this uh, common sense, right, this logic, and you apply it to Bikat HaMazon. Let's see if it works the way you are uh, saying it. Just as one may not interrupt the Amidah 
to greet anyone or to return another person's greeting, one may not interrupt Birkat Amazon for any greetings. Therefore, if a person is reciting Birkat Amazon and he hears someone recite Kaddish or a congregation recites Kedusha, he must not respond verbally. Instead, he should remain silent and listen to the cantor fulfilling the proper responses through the halachic device of shomea ke'one. Meaning, if he hears the congregation recite modim de Rabbanan, he should bend modim, his head toward the, the same direction as the rest of the congregation. Whatever you think to respond, it's not verbally in the heart. The same rules applies while we're saying the fourth blessing, Hatov Amitiv, fourth blessing of Rikat Amazon. One must not interrupt it to respond the Kaddish or Kedusha. It happens almost every Sudash Elishit. Well, people do already Rikat Amazon and they hear Kaddish, so they should know now what the answer. The fourth blessing ends with the words, uh, the Kol Tuv, all the best. Among Ashkenazic Jews, the participants in the Zimun complete each blessing of Rikat Amazon before the leader of the Zimun and then respond Amen to his blessings. Sephardic Jews, however, follow the ruling of Maran in the Shulchan Aruch and do not interrupt any part of Rikat Amazon to respond Amen to another blessing. It's not like the Yamanai and Amen is totally different. It's not like this, not like the other one. But Rabbi, you know, like during that big Amazon, if you have guests and then they say the guest one, and then at the end you say amen, can you hear that song? What if you're not done yet, but the other one's saying it? So, according to Maran Shohan Och, you don't respond, you respond by heart. The Yemenite, we respond and we add, we blessing back and same you and same to you. He say a few words and we say a few words toward him. It's a completely different big Amazon. It's the most ancient one, okay? Um... If you, in the middle of Birkat Amazon, you cannot respond. So that's what happens is many do Birkat Amazon quickly. And then when the guest is doing his part, you can respond to them man because you finish your Birkat Amazon. Finish, it's okay. Okay. Very insightful. Okay. Uh, what if... You're in the middle of the Harachman. We have a long list of Harachman. Harachman, the Blessed One, should give an Orfuah Shalema, Parnasa. Even after completing the fourth blessing, the fourth part of Birkat Amazon, it is recommended to avoid interrupting, interrupting at all while reciting the passage of Harachman unless there is a great need for it. Technically, however, the Halacha does not forbid interrupting during this prayer since the Talmud did not institute it to be recited. It is only a custom. When reciting Rikat Amazon with a kos shel beracha with, with the wine again, this is something you can do all the time, not only when chatan and kala and groom and a bride, sheva brachot the Quran does it many do it uh, uh, every, every uh, Rikat Amazon so that's the shit right how we can do it in every Birkat Amazon every day. Okay. However, the halacha forbids interrupting the passage of Harachman as explained above in Halacha 17. It is certainly permissible to interrupt the passage of Harachman to respond to Kaddish or Kedusha or to respond Amen to a blessing. Furthermore, it is permissible for him to get up and to move to another place while reciting it. So you see the fourth part that was actually I said not assembled or formed many years later in the time of the Talmud. Maybe said it. Okay. okay. What if you're in Birkat Amazon? You know the halacha says that when a rabbi comes to the near you within uh, two feet or you're an el el elderly person are you father? So either you standing completely or a little bit. What do you do? You in the middle of Birkat Amazon? Should you stop Birkat Amazon to stand up for such person? 
So if someone is reciting Birkat Amazon and an elderly man or a Torah scholar passes him by him, he must stand up in that person's honor. Okay? That's not going to take the concentration. Right, it's not considered interruption because it's part of Kevoda Torah, honoring either the elders or your parents or honoring a Torah scholar. I will conclude this part and I think we finish this part and we're going to do, uh, next week, a blessing in the place. We have to answer questions like I've ate here, I continue my car, and I finish at work. Where should we get Amazon? Because normally you should, wherever you start, there you should do Birkat Amazon. This is for next week, Hashem. The blessing of Me'en Shalosh. This is eating, you know, the fruits from the uh, seven species or, or uh, cakes or cookies, okay, or wine. The blessing of Me'en Shalosh has the same rules of Birkat Amazon. Therefore, while we're setting this blessing, one may not interrupt to respond on the Kaddish or Kedusha. Instead, one should remain silent and listen to the cantor as he recites them. Uh, when reciting other uh, relatively long blessings, such as Asher Yetzar, Obor Nefashot, the rules are that the same as when reciting the Shema and its blessings. That is, one may interrupt the blessing to respond to Kaddish or Kedusha. Okay? So, in any other blessing, you may respond and answer a reply with Amen. Okay? okay? Amen. Any questions? So, I believe that at least one thing today, for some of us, it was in you to learn, right? At least one thing. It was worth it to come. Okay? should know, especially in the times of like this, when the entire word, world is, is uh, affected by a plague, and we are at the time that we don't know what is going on. So, we are taking the time at such uh, late at evening and studying Torah we are breaking a lot of walls in heaven and breaking through many screens that prevent us from getting the light from the Shekhinah and the only way to go through these screens that block, block us from blessings is through Torah learning, blessings that we do with Kavana, and Chesed. That's it. Especially this time of need. Hashem has plans to this world, to this world, and to each and every one of us. Privately. Okay? Any questions? When it, when it, it is a good time to study Torah at night? According to the Rambam, the best time to study Torah is at evening, because he was working. Mm -hmm. So studying Torah, there is no limit to it, day and night. But if you're asking me, it's a very individual question. It depends on one's schedule. So if he works and goes to shul and then he goes to eat and, and shower or whatever he's, he's doing at home, you should find at least an hour to study Okay. Oral Torah in the evening. Oral Torah in the evening. And during the day is regular the Torah, the, the, the Bible with commentary and so forth and so on. Uh, reading Tehillim, it's permitted to do it in the evening. It's a Kabbalistic thing not to read at night. But those who follow Kabbalah all the time. Okay. So I, would, I can only answer these questions if I discuss with that person's schedule because there is no limit to Torah learning. Okay? But if you don't schedule a time for it, you 
most likely won't study. But if you know that every day I'm studying two halachot, two halachot, that's two. And it must be at 9.30 p.m. That's the goal. Even if you're in the middle of a wedding, uh -huh. ding, ding, you have to go 9.30 p.m., I'm studying two halachot. That's the only way to beat evil inclination. Every day, no matter where I'm at. So you're going to see soon that you're scheduling your time around this. Oh, okay, 9.30, it's 9.30, I can't go to shower. Okay, let me wait. 9.30, boom, you say the hot, now I can go to shower. Because if I be in the middle of a shower at 9.30, I'm going to miss that. I'm just throwing 9.30, it doesn't have to be 9.30. Okay, but schedule yourself a time that's convenient and you know you have at least, least interruptions. This is how one can grow spiritually. When I say two alachot, it's so little, it's two to three minutes a day. After 10 days, you already have 20 alachot you know. After 100 days, it's 200 alachot that you know. It's amazing. And it's so easy. This is why when we go before God for judgment he will ask us this thing he says you have so much time in your hand you can give me two minutes two minutes to study Allah or two what will an answer will be ashamed I send you this world to work 24-7 work is good what about the spiritual side of your life when we do that, you see that you have more blessing in your life and, and even the parnasa is easier. Okay? So you have to find a time and a topic, what to learn. For that, you have to consult each and everyone individually with the Rebbe so he can tell you what he recommends you. Okay? Questions? On behalf of Ohev Israel Foundation, I want to bless all of us, Bez Hashem, that will be safe at all time from any plague. And uh, Hashem will give us Bez Hashem as Parnasa, livelihood easily. And, huh? Give us the help. Help with everything, with joy, and uh, the, the merit of Torah learning. And those who support Ohev Israel Foundation, Hashem will bless you with all the Berachot in the Torah, when they get also this Torah class to the Murphy's family for uh, whatever they need in health and Paranasa. Hashem will send them a great blessing for all their support and love to Amen. Torah. Hashem, Amen. see all that. Amen. And also the, the Rojas family that are helping Israel in many different ways. Um, Hashem bless you all, those who are here and those who are Amen. watching us. God bless. we we'll see you momentarily with our second part of this evening. Shalom, shalom.